The Battle of Amberg, fought on 24 August 1796, resulted in an Austrian victory by Archduke Charles over a French army led by Jean-Baptiste Jordan. This French Revolutionary War's engagement marked a turning point in the campaign, which had previously seen French successes. Background Plans The French planned an invasion of southern Germany in 1796. General of Division MG Jordan with the army of Sambre et Meuse would advance from the Middle Rhine while MG Jean Moreau would cross the river farther south with the army of Rhin et Moselle. Jordan held a bridgehead over the Rhine at Neuwied while MG Jean-Baptiste Kleber commanded his left wing based on an entrenched camp at Dusseldorf. Moreau's army comprised 71,581 infantry and 6,515 cavalry. He organized these into a right wing under M. G. Pierre Farino, a center led by M. G. Louis de Sakes, and a left wing commanded by M. G. Laurent de Gauvion Saint Cyr. Field Marshal Archduke Charles commanded the Army of the Lower Rhine. Charles and his deputy, Feldzugmeister FZM Wilhelm von Wartensleben faced Jordan along the Lahn River. This stream flows in a southwesterly direction into the Rhine near Koblenz. To the south, FZM Maximilian, Count Bailet de Latour positioned his army of the Upper Rhine to defend against Moreau. <laughs> <laughs> June operations On 4 June 1796, 11,000 soldiers of the Army of the Sambre et Meuse, under François Lefebvre pushed back a 6,500-man Austrian force at Altenkirchen, north of the land. On 6 June, the French placed Ehrenbreitstein fortress under siege. At Wetzlar on the land, Lefebvre ran into Charles's concentration of 36,000 Austrians on 15 June. Casualties were light on both sides, but Jordan pulled back to Neuwied while Kleber recoiled toward Dusseldorf. Feldmarschall Lieutenant FML Paul Kray's 30,000 soldiers bested Kleber's 24,000 at Uckerath east of Bonn on 19 June, prompting the Frenchman to continue his withdrawal to the north. Meanwhile, operations of the Army of the Rhin et Moselle progressed more successfully for the French. On the 15th, de Sakes and 30,000 French troops defeated FML Franz Petrache's 11,000 Austrians at Maudic near Speyer. The French suffered 600 casualties while Austrian losses were three times as heavy. Part of Moreau's army under MG Jean Charles Abitucci mounted an assault crossing over the Rhine at Kell opposite Strasbourg on 24 June. The defenders were French émigrés and the forces of minor German states belonging to the Holy Roman Empire. They fought gamely, but were beaten with the loss of 700 men while the French lost 150. On 28 June, de Sakes defeated FML Anton Sturet's imperial troops again at Renchen, inflicting 1,400 casualties for only 200 French killed and wounded. In the following weeks the Austrians determined some of their Imperial German allies to be unreliable and disarmed them. In reaction to the defeats in the south, Archduke Charles left Wartensleben in command of 35,000 men along the land, put 30,000 troops into the fortress of Mainz and rushed south with 20,000 soldiers to reinforce Latour. <laughs> July operations After a minor clash at Rastatt on 5 July, Archduke Charles and Latour took up a position at Malche with 32,000 troops. On 9 July, Moreau defeated the Army of the Upper Rhine at the Battle of Etlingen. The Archduke retreated 60 kilometres to Stuttgart, where he skirmished with the French on 21 July before continuing to withdraw east. When Jordan heard of French successes against the Army of the Upper Rhine, he went over to the offensive. After a series of minor victories at Neuwied, Gießen, and Friedberg in Der Wetterau in early July, the French pressed Wartensleben back to Frankfurt am Main. August operations Charles ordered Wartensleben to unite with him in order to crush Moreau. However, his colleague proved unwilling to cooperate. On the 11th of August, Moreau overpowered the outnumbered Archduke at the Battle of Narasheim. The Austrian southern wing retreated to the south bank of the Danube at Donauwörth. 
To the north, Jordan pushed Wartensleben back through Würzburg and Nuremberg. Kleber clashed with Cray on 17 August at Sulzbach Rosenberg, 14 kilometres west of Amberg. Charles's strategy of falling back before the two superior French armies while seeking an opportunity to combine against one of them had so far failed. <laughs> <laughs> Battle Reconnaissance A change in Austrian fortunes came when an alert cavalry brigadier, General Major Friedrich Joseph, Count of Nauendorf detected an opportunity during a wide reconnaissance. He sent a note to Archduke Charles, "'If your Royal Highness will or can advance 12,000 men against Jordan's rear, he is lost.' Charles left 30,000 men under Latour to watch Moreau, and hurried north with 27,000 to find Jordan still pressing Wartensleben near Amberg. On the 22nd of August at Neumarkt in Der Oberfalls, Charles brushed aside one of Jordan's divisions under M. G. Jean-Baptiste Bernadotte. This placed the Archduke squarely on the French right rear. Topic: <laughs> Combat. The total forces available were 48,000 Austrians and 45,000 French. On 24 August, Charles struck the French right flank while Wartensleben attacked frontally. The French army of Sambre et Meuse was overcome by weight of numbers and Jordan retired northwest. The Austrians lost only 400 casualties of the 40,000 men they brought onto the field. French losses were 1,200 killed and wounded, plus 800 captured out of 34,000 engaged. Instead of supporting his colleague, Moreau pushed further east. <laughs> <laughs> Results On the same day as the Battle of Amberg, Moreau inflicted a sharp defeat on Latour at the Battle of Friedberg in Bavaria. On 1 September, Moreau clashed with Latour and Nauendorf at Geisenfeld, 16 kilometres southeast of Ingolstadt. At the same time, Charles's victorious Austrians pursued Jordan's beaten army. The widening gap between the two French armies finally caused Moreau to abandon his gains and pull back toward Ulm. The Battle of Würzburg, fought on 3 September, would determine the winner of the campaign. <laughs> 